What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 157 of the Games of Grounds podcast. My name is Sonny G, and I'm here, as always, with Finn Steele. Hello. Finn, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Very well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's good to be good. back on the regular podcast. I feel like it's been a, <laughs> been a few weeks. Yeah, yeah. He's been, been a busy boy. I've been a, a really busy boy. Yeah. But, you know, the busy period's out of the way now. And, you know, now we can focus on doing this stuff until the end of the year. Uh, yeah, relax and podcast and, yeah, keep it chill. All, all that good stuff. Yeah, all the good uh, stuff. You may notice that there's an absentee today. Um, we were all due to record together, but Steve, unfortunately, was having some internet issues. So uh, he's uh, ducked out of this week's podcast. So he just get us. It's like the OG Games and Graps yeah. podcast. Yeah, Games and Graps OG. Games and Graps OG. <laughs> But we're going to go through the, the the stuff that we always go through. We're, we're, yeah, you know, it's the middle of November, and we're going to do some games of the month. Oh yeah, yeah. Because it doesn't matter what what, what, what <laughs> time of the month it is. Who cares? Because who cares? Yeah. Hey, and if that Why game's not? already out, unlucky. You get to hear about <laughs> it again from us. Yeah. You know, you might hear something you don't know is already out. You think, oh, that sounds good. I'll go buy that now. Yeah. There you go. Or you might be like, what the fuck are these guys talking about? That game came out three <laughs> weeks ago. Guess what? We don't care. We know it's out. <laughs> We're just going to do it anyway. Yeah. Take that. Yeah. Internet, Internet people. <laughs> yeah. Um, Finn, nice warm winter hoodie you've got there today. Thank you. Thank you. You too. You too. It's a cold day. Yeah. It is a cold day. It is a cold day. And, you know, it's a cold time of year. So we, we need we need the hoodies. You know, we it do. keeps us warm. And, yeah, you've got to keep warm. I do. I don't know. Don't freeze. No, I like the buttons on yours. Oh, no, it's got a very sort of uh, Big padding to bear type effect. <laughs> yeah, like Seth Rollins last week on the Raw. Yeah, Finnington Bear. <laughs> Finnington Bear, that's me. Yep, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so much to talk about this week, I feel. Yeah, it's been a busy busy couple of weeks. Yeah, we've had, a, we had an AEW pay-per-view, which was good, which we'll talk about. Really good. And uh, some WWE 2K22 news. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll talk about that as well. Cool. Um, great work on the podcast last week without me, by the way. I thought you and Steve did a, thank you. a wonderful job. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I think, it. Cool. I think we owe ourselves as a team a round of applause for doing such a good team effort last week because you guys did the podcast, <laughs> I did the live on Sunday, and it was an all-round cool. great effort. It was, it was. Let's give yourself a nice round of applause. Woo! Go us. <clears throat> yeah, we deserve it. We do. De- <laughs> we do. Deserve- <laughs> we do deserve to pat our own backs. Yes. Like, what's a champa? Yeah. <laughs> We're the daddies. <laughs> Here we are. Hell yeah, we are. We are the daddies. <laughs> and daddy's home, and it's okay. <laughs> uh, my wife has just walked into the room. She's just looked at me really funny. <laughs> well, I just said daddy's home. Yeah. <laughs> well, as soon as I said we're the daddies, I just got a look of like, what is what? your podcast <laughs> even about these days? <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Well, that's. <laughs> I mean, that that's the case for a long, long time. I mean, we're this is like 100. And, what, what did I say? 57. 157. Yeah. Yeah. How? <laughs> Who knows? How and why are people listening to this? Who knows? Yeah, people do. I really appreciate it. Um, that's it. I saw a really funny comment on our YouTube the other day. Oh yeah, um, yeah. It was about I think I think it was about Snake Boat. <laughs> right, yeah. Someone had commented and put, "This game is fucking garbage, and your channel is fucking garbage for putting content about it." It's like, hey, cheers. You're the one watching it. Yeah, you clicked the video. You clicked dude. it. You <laughs> searched for Snake Boat. Yeah, and here you are. And yeah, <coughs> you, you are commenting on it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people, people are, are funny, weird. man. Yeah. Yeah. Dumbass people. <laughs> let's, let's look up people look up things to complain about this game is rubbish I'm going to google it and tell people that you're an idiot for playing it yeah <laughs> stop making videos on shit games <laughs> that's why we that's do it because it's funny yeah that's the joke yeah stupid that's the joke uh, <laughs> right Finn hello what have you been playing <clears throat> uh, well I've been playing more Metroid Dread nice which is still excellent I think I'm getting near the end now oh okay uh, it's a lot longer than the last uh, few games, which is good. Mm. 
uh, the maps have got a lot bigger, more areas to explore. Is it what you wanted from it? Like, are you uh, happy with yeah. sort of the overall product? Yeah, absolutely. It's a modernised version of the 2D games. It's like uh, lots of quality of life improvements, like a better map, um, and things like that. And it shows you like, like where areas are you haven't discovered yet. Uh-huh. It's like, oh, okay, so I know there's somewhere over there I can get to that I haven't been to yet. I just need the right power up to get there. So this isn't a remake of an older one, is it? <clears throat> this is a brand new game. This is a sequel, isn't it? Oh, yeah, brand new game. A sequel to the Game Boy Advance game, which was uh, Metroid Fusion. Got you. Okay. Yeah, first official Metroid, new Metroid game, Metroid 2D game we've got in ages. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, really good. Really, really good. Enjoying it. Do you think we'll see, or do you think we'll ever see sort of another Metroid 3D? Uh, well, Metroid Prime 4 got announced like with the Switch <laughs> many years ago. <laughs> with the Switch. Uh, yeah. And there are rumours, getting into gaming news a bit early, uh, that Metroid Prime 1 is uh, ready to go, essentially. Okay. Uh, HD. Oh, like one, a HD collection. Remake kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, there was the collection okay. on the Wii, which had all three games, with like Wii controls, which are really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's rumoured to be coming out in HD for next year. I think next year's then 25th anniversary. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, that makes sense. That means we're gonna, we'll get like a Metroid Direct. Probably, yeah. yeah. So we're announcing Metroid Trilogy, and here's a trailer for Metroid Prime 4. Please. Yeah. <laughs> so, so as it exists. Which is coming on. out uh, on the 12th and ever. <laughs> 2025. Yep, 2025. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that, that's classic no Nintendo, though, isn't it? It is. Hey, here's Good some stuff Nintendo. that's coming, and we're going to announce an announcement <laughs> for the stuff that might, well, might be coming. We don't know yet. <laughs> that might come out eventually one day. Maybe, possibly. <laughs> It's the most Nintendo thing of all time. Yeah. Metroid Dread was never announced back in the day, but it was like rumored. Mm. Um, like back with like the DS. Yeah. Like, new Metroid game. The code name Metroid Dread. And then, like rumors have floated about about it and never came out. And now all this time later. So they're like, oh, okay, maybe we should actually make this game now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, remember that game uh, we told everyone about? <laughs> maybe, maybe it's time it. we actually did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else have you been playing? Um, I played a bit more Forza Horizon 5, which is ah, excellent. Ah, okay. You yeah, enjoying it? Yeah, really good. Yeah, really good. It's, it's, I mean, it's so pretty. It's so fun. It's driving around, causing mayhem and racing around. Yeah. I love it. But it's, it's basically... My, um, sorry, I'm basically, it's basically Forza Horizon 4 again, but new up prettier. I mean, a new map. Yeah, uh, and Forza yeah, Horizon great. 4 was basically Forza Horizon 3 on a different map. <laughs> um, yeah. But it, you know what? It's so good. Like I, yeah. I love it so much. When I was always going to anyway, uh, but it's so pretty. Um, I like the uh, the progression system and the way they've done it now. Instead of yeah. sort of bombarding you with everything all at once, you can sort of pick and choose what you unlock. And uh, I think that's a way better way of doing it. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, it's just, just a great everyone. game. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, I think I said last week I'm playing it. At, I had to fill about with it on my computer. To make it work as good as I can make it. Okay. To look at, make it look as good as it can without blowing up my computer, my graphics cool. card. <laughs> so I've done that. I'm making it run at 30 rather than 60. Okay. Um, but I'll turn the graphics up to like high, so it looks pretty. Yeah, I'm I'm playing it at uh, 30 as well. I mean, that's the yeah. standard uh, sort of mode for the Xbox Series X version. Obviously, you can knock it up to performance, but I went for sort of uh, graphical fidelity just to see sort of how beautiful it was. And yeah. it runs really great at 30 FPS as well. Yeah. Yeah, really good. And uh, yeah, I'm you know, used to playing these games at 30. I've done all these years. Yeah. And I think it's less, with driving games, it's less, you know, it's less of an impact at 60 than it does for other games. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, I played Forza Horizon 4 at 60. So I yeah. am going to knock the frame rate up and just sort of have a look and see what difference it does make. But um, yeah, stunning game. Just so good. Not good enough for... Uh, game of the year, or to even get a mention at the Game Awards, but that's okay. Oh, Next year, Awards, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that. I also played a game called uh, Unpacking, which is on Game Pass. Oh, I saw which, that. Yeah, it's a nice, super chill game where you just basically unpack. You go from house to house, you're moving different places, and you take things out of your boxes, put them in the rightful place, and just like decorate a house. It's super nice and chill, and just nice to sit down and like a few just like click, click, click. Put this there, put that there. That does sound pretty cool, nice. actually. Yeah, it's very cool. Nice, super easy. You know, tra- um, achievements is nice and straightforward as well. Nice. It's a bonus. Uh, 
And yeah, look, I haven't quite finished it yet. I've got a couple more houses to play. But uh, yeah, really fun. Recommended. And it's free, Game Pass. Even better. Yeah, Game Pass rules. Yeah, that's so cool. Oh, yeah. and the Halo. Halo multiplayer beta I played. Okay. Uh, and I'm really bad at Halo, as it turns Me out. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. The worst at Halo, actually. I went in yeah. all pucky because uh, me and Danza, we, we used to play Halo 5 multiplayer. Oh, yeah. um, for some reason, we were good at it. And we have no idea <laughs> why. Uh, but So we went into this one thinking, oh, we might actually be okay at it. Incorrect. Straight <laughs> out the gates. Rubbish at it. Just so bad at it. Yeah, and I was that. so incredibly mardy by the end. <laughs> well, there's people who, who are on there from playing it since for, like, for ages they were in like, the closed beta yeah. or whatever they keep running, it, running into those people and getting my ass kicked it also didn't help I was trying to use keyboard and mouse because apparently that's the pro game or way to play first button shooters I just can't I just can't get on, get on with no. it no no especially the keyboard I don't understand how keyboard can be used as a game controller it's too plus we're difficult. not nerds yeah we're not huge nerds we're not huge nerds. PC nerds <laughs> fucking dorks stop playing with a keyboard and mouse it's nerdy yeah, think, as shit uh, I think next time I'll play it I'll plug in the controller and try it that way yeah it's still uh -huh. hard just FYI I bet I bet it's one cool thing I will say about it's pretty it's very pretty yeah amazing it's I think pretty. Like the, the trick like so I was aiming down the sights yeah but that's not the way to go that's not Halo Halo has never had that before no as far as I remember um, so I sort of remembered that free ball in it and shooting from the hip is definitely the way to go. Yeah. So it makes things a little bit easier, but also no matter how many bullets you pump into opposing enemies, they will kill you first. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter whether you shot them first, they'll just turn around and yeah. you know, shoot you in the face and you'll just be dead. Yeah. Yeah. It's Halo. Loss inbound, <laughs> mardiness inbound. I think I'll just play the campaign when Halo Infinite comes out. Yeah, I look forward to the campaign. That'd be Me good. too. Especially if it's just, I mean, obviously it's going to be very pretty, um, just like oh, the yeah. multiplayer is, and I can't wait. Yeah, me too. If it's co-op, maybe it's decent co-op, because I think it's got cross-play with PC. So uh, yes, it has, yeah. Mode. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, and I think that's about it for games we've been playing. Haven't played any more Far Cry 6 yet, I'm busy with Metroid. Um, I'll get back on that at some point. Cool. So yeah, how about you? What have you been playing? A few different bits. Uh, Forza Horizon 5, which we've already talked about. Stunning. Nice. I, you know, I can't praise it enough. It is um, it is the best game of the year. Yeah. Whether probably. the Game Awards it's say so upper. or not. <laughs> but fuck them. They don't, they, they don't determine what is and isn't game of the year. Yeah, it's such a weird... We'll talk about it later. But yeah, it's, we'll it's talk about it. We will list. talk about it in a bit. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been playing Forza Horizon 5. I've been playing Call of Duty Vanguard. Oh, yeah. Um, didn't think, you know, I, I've been on here and I've been like, look, COD is COD every year. Didn't like Call of Duty Cold War. Um, I, I just couldn't get on with it at all. But uh, Vanguard's really good fun. Cool. I'm really enjoying myself. Um, it's come loaded with a shitload of maps and my camera's just kicked me off, which is really good. I don't know why it does that. But it's oh, okay because you can still hear me. But my camera will be back in just a second. I'm 100% sure of that. Um and there it is. There um, I don't know what it keeps doing that, and it's doing my editing, and I can't figure out why. But I'm also too lazy to look. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So Call of Duty Vanguard has come with over 20 maps, which is great. Um, nice. I like the old school weapons, and it's just really good fun. I'm just enjoying myself. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It's not like COD. You know, if if you're a COD fan, you're gonna like COD. Yeah, pretty much. COD is COD, and you know, and it will yeah. always be. You know, by this point, they've nailed it. <laughs> yeah, pretty so much. It's just Normal. COD. It's the same game reskinned pretty much every year. But this one just does feel. I'm just enjoying this one more than I enjoyed Cold War. Yeah, fair play. And I'm not shit at it like I am with Halo. <laughs> Even better. So after we played Halo the other night, I after I was so mardy, like I was like I was seething. Yeah, mardy. <laughs> I was like fuck Halo, not playing it ever again. Rubbish. <laughs> I, like, I, need to go, I need to go on COD and blow off some steam. So I did, and I had a good, good couple of games on COD. Nice. <laughs> Redeemed cool. myself in the first person space. Redemption. Yeah. Redemption. Um, Redemption. See, so yeah, I've been playing COD. Really good. Enjoying that. Um, what else have I been playing? I've been playing some FIFA. I'm not going to bore you with that. Uh, I've been playing some Football <laughs> Manager. I'm not going to bore you with that either. 
Um, yeah. Oh, I've been playing WarioWare on. Oh, nice. Um, on Switch. Yeah. Awesome. How's it? Good. So much fun, but so random. If <laughs> like K walked past, well, because I've moved the Switch into the bedroom, so when I go to bed at night, I could just play a bit of casual Switch before bed. And I was playing Wario, and she yesterday she just went, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> because it's ridiculous yeah. it's so stupid but it's so much fun um you'll love it yeah i'm sure i will i'll play it's the demo great. when it, yeah it's always, always i played i think i pretty much got all of them got the one on the wii which is really good and we yeah, i remember the one on the gamecube yeah. being really good as well yeah they, i don't think that's the only one i've not played but yeah, yeah but they're, they're they're so much fun they're just they're just they're just they are just fun and that i can't really say anything more about it than that yeah just cool. gazillions of mini games. Yeah. And Super. a random ass story that no one really cares about. <laughs> yeah, it's so silly. But yeah, it's it's silly fun. Silly fun. All it needs to be. Yeah. Oh, have you ever heard ever played a game called uh, Rhythm Heaven? One of the games. I think it was on the Wii and a bunch of other things. Rhythm Heaven? Yeah. It's very similar to uh, WarioWare in some ways, but it's all they were like rhythm based games. Oh, okay. No, but that sounds good. Yeah, it's really cool. I recommend checking it out if you get a chance. Okay, Wii, so um, <laughs> what, can you get that one? Is it just on the Wii U? Uh, I think it's on the Wii, and it's one on the DS, and a couple of other things. It's all Nintendo-based. Oh, okay. But yeah, that look sounds it up good. On YouTube, it's, yeah, really, really good. I'll play that fairly recently, actually. I saw, I saw something on YouTube that reminded me of it. I was like, oh, yeah, I think I've got that game. Hmm. I dug out some double-A batteries. <laughs> 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 dug out some double-A batteries. <laughs> Remember them? When yeah, you batteries to play games. Remember batteries? <laughs> Good times. Um, Good so times. yeah, and it also it's super pretty. I know it's like cartoony type game, but it looks great. Yeah, it, it, it does. suits what it is. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, time. really good stuff. Also, um, I might as well talk about it. I've been playing Grand Theft Auto Three. Ah, uh, yeah. And I, I have it. to be honest, I don't hate it as much as the internet does. <laughs> That's good. I think three is the least broken out of the three of them, so that's good. I will say this. The rain sucks. Oh, yeah, I thought that. Rain is not massive white lines. Rain no. is water that falls from the sky. Yeah, it's weird. It just looks like a screen effect rather than actual rain. Like someone it's just really drew white weird. lines over the screen. Yeah. It's like, why would you do this? It's like, well, yeah, <laughs> the rain on the PS2 was much better than this. What the hell are you doing? But, yeah. you know... As far as the game goes, the controls are better, and uh, the you know that's the most important thing. All, I remember saying on this podcast a few months ago that all I wanted, if these games ever did see the light of day, was dual camera controls to make the game playable. Yeah, and much. I've got it, and I've got GTA Five type driving, and I'm, that's that's good enough for me. So I'm enjoying cool. it. The audio is a little off in terms of they've obviously used the original audio recordings, but they've not sort of uh, boosted it. Yeah, it's just a little so bit. It's, it's grainy. quite quiet and a little grainy, yeah, in parts. Some of it's fine, some of it's not. Um, but yeah, the rain effects, they're terrible. It's a little bit dark, but with a patch, uh, which I'm sure will come because the backlash has been unbelievable, um, a, a patch will come at some point. And yeah, but it, overall, um, I'm enjoying it. But it's, it's just GTA 3 with better controls. Yeah, good. Yeah, one of these that I'll definitely get at some point. I'll wait and see if they pass ship. I'm sure they will. They will, um, yeah, 100%. Yeah. I think Rockstar even came out and said um, they were going to patch it because they took it off uh, the Rockstar launcher on PC due to issues, then brought it back and said they were yeah. just going to continually update it until it's a standard that should be expected. Um, it true. should have been released in that state, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, yeah. they'll, they'll patch it and you'll be able to enjoy it. But I've seen people enjoying it. I've seen people not enjoying it but look that's that's life that's the internet yeah exactly but yeah that's, that's pretty much about it i've been playing quite a lot of stuff actually i haven't touched my ps5 um for a, a couple of weeks i've been playing on my xbox uh quite a lot because everything i'm playing at the minute is there yeah that's fair so, i'll play just my ps5 to prepare it's been all been switch and pc at the minute yeah so i've been uh just but you know what? I, I don't feel the I don't feel like I need to share the love constantly. You know what I mean? I don't need to no. like play PS5 one day and Xbox the next or whatever. It's, um, yeah, it's, I'm just chilling. I'm just enjoying, I'm just enjoying gaming. Like yeah. really enjoying it. Like, I'm super casual at the minute. You know, you could tell 
with the games that I'm playing, Forza, COD, FIFA, that it doesn't get any more casual than COD and FIFA. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But I'm having a lot of fun. And after a busy couple of weeks, a busy few weeks, um, I think it's what I've needed just to wind down and relax before I really sort of get myself stuck into something a bit meatier and something I have to think about a bit more, you know? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, gaming rules. Hell yeah, it does. Hell yeah, it <laughs> does. Cool. Oh, and I've also been playing more Beat Saber. Which is ah, fun. nice. I sorted out my, um, like, where I've got my Xbox and PS5. I've sorted out, so I've got my, I've sorted it all out properly. I had a shitload of wires. I don't even know what they're for. But um, <laughs> just wires. Just, like, just got 100 USB-C wires. Oh, got loads of oh, just fucking wires everywhere. It was ridiculous. But I've sorted it all <laughs> out now, and I've charged my um, PlayStation Move controllers, and I intend to play the Walking Dead game that was on that's on PlayStation Plus at the minute at some point, so I've downloaded nice. it. Yeah, same here. But yeah, more online online beats over it. It's so much fun. I love it. It's oh, cool. they've um, they've yeah, they brought the online stuff out now, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Just getting to see people, like you can interact with people in like the waiting room, the wave of people. I this on the web. Thanks, cool. Google. Cheers, there Google. You go. <laughs> Cheers, um, Google. <laughs> yeah, excellent, good stuff. So, what, um, can you, do you do you play against other people or? Yeah, yeah, there's other people there. You can see them in the lobby, and you can start when you're playing. You can start seeing them in the background. Sometimes they get like projected above you. You can see what oh, they're doing. Oh, okay, that's cool. And it's cool. Yeah, and it's cool to like see people move in sync with the music. I'm gonna have to check that out because that sounds really good. Yeah. We love Beat Saber in this household anyway, so uh, it'd be good to get back on it and be good to try the online mode for sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll be here. Oh, you definitely will be. <laughs> come, yeah. come at me, bro. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I've been, I'm a little rusty. I've been I've been not as good as I was. Expert. I'm struggling with expert mode. Knocked it out too hard. I'll get, I'll get back there. Yeah, Kay's really good at it. <laughs> awesome. But again, she hasn't played for a while either, so she may be shit at it now. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? She won't be. It's <laughs> like a just like a, a beat saber rhythm master. It's ridiculous. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, right. Let's uh, let's talk gaming news. What have we got? Let's. Right. Okay. So we talked about briefly the game awards. Uh, go through some of the nominations, which are a bit weird. They are a little um, bit. Yeah. Uh, so for the game of the year, we've got um, Metroid Dread. It makes sense. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Okay, uh, good. Makes sense. Resident Evil Village, which I forgot came out this year, but <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> uh, Psychonauts 2, which is really good, but I'm not the game of the year. Mm. Um, Deathloop, which I've not played, but I'm told it's very good. It is very good. And It Takes Two, which I am barely aware of. Um, it's... It's supposed to be amazing. Yeah. Like, it's supposed to be a really fantastic co-op game. I think it's from the same people that did A Way Out. Oh, yeah. But it's better oh, like than it, that, the apparently. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hence the title, It Takes Two. Uh, I see what they did there. Uh, maybe we should have a look at it. It's on Game Pass uh, as part of EA Access yeah. now, so uh, maybe we should have a look at it and um, see what the fuss is about. I've not played it either, but it looks great. Yeah. Yeah, we'll check it out. That'd be cool. Um, a glaring omission from that list is Forza Horizon 5. The highest rated out of <laughs> all of those games. Yeah. And um, Returnal. Where's Returnal? Come yeah, on. Returnal not there either, which is a, a weird omission. Very weird. Um, I mean, Psychonauts, you know, a lot of people have said nice things about it, including yourself. Yeah, I love it. But I'm not sure I'd put it above Returnal or uh, Metroid or, you know... But evil. <laughs> well, I, I was most surprised that Resident Evil was in there. Yeah, I thought that came out ages ago. Have you played Not it yet? This year? No. <laughs> One day I'll get there. Have you got it? I have it. Yeah, it's on my. I've got it on my shelf. Yeah, I still haven't finished it either. It's. I like it, but I don't feel the same way about it that I felt about Resident Evil Seven. I loved Resident Evil Seven so much. Yeah, um, and this, I just don't feel the same about it, and I don't know why. When I play it, I enjoy it, but I don't yeah. know what it is. I felt like res with Resident Evil Seven. Obviously, it was the first time they did the uh, the first person stuff, and I felt like yeah. that setting um, of the house with the family. I thought it was pretty unique um, and a great way to introduce like the first person style to Resident Evil. Um, but I don't know. I feel like there's a little bit of sort of mystique lost with this one, even though it's good, and it is. Oh, yeah, I can't take that away from it. Yeah. Um, I just feel like Resident Evil 7 was really, really special. The way that it was done and, 
you know, trying to replicate it again is always going to be very difficult. Um, but yeah, he's not a bad game by any stretch in the game of the year. I mean, for me personally, no. Yeah, that's fair. That makes sense. I've not played it properly yet. Um, but I see what you mean. Yeah, Resident Evil 7 and the first of its kind. And this is its mm. stat again. Um, I'm sort of excellent. I'm sure I'll love it when I finally get around to it. Oh, you will. Yeah, you will love it. I, I like it. I think it's really good. I want to get around to finishing it. But it's so difficult when so many games keep coming out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. Uh, but the good thing about Seven as well was the VR. That was like a big, a huge thing, at least for me. Yeah, for sure. Is there Being no uh, VR that. compatibility with this one? Uh, no, of course not. Of course not. Maybe, maybe in the future they'll add it. Maybe. I think maybe possibly, possibly. I mean, I think the setting is slightly bigger on this one, so maybe a little bit more difficult to to deal with in VR. Because obviously with Seven, you know, you're very much in the house a lot. Yeah, true. And in the surrounding areas, whereas this one, there's like outside bits and on roof bits and all sorts of different stuff. So it's a bit bigger. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Resident Evil 4 in VR came out recently on PC. It I've really heard good. it's good. Yeah. I'm hoping that comes to PSVR 2 when that eventually comes out. Hopefully, yeah. There's a Medal of Honor game as well that's just coming out for Oculus Quest or the oh, yeah. Oculus series of VR headsets. Man, Medal of Honor. Classic. Remember that? Classic series back in the day. And then it got bad. Oh, my God. It got bad. <laughs> Shame. So bad. Uh, so bad. Look at these other categories here in the game awards. Um, the best RPG had some weird ones as well. I'm trying to find it on here. Uh, it's not a category. Complete the sport, mobile game, best indie, it's ongoing. I can't really find it now. Isn't the Cyberpunk the in e- there? Best esports coach. Great. Good, Great. <laughs> good category. <laughs> coach? Yeah. How do you, how do you coach the esports team? Anyway, oh, doesn't I matter. Uh, yeah, best, best role playing. Cyberpunk? Really? The game, <laughs> the game is literally broken. They had to take it off the PlayStation Store because it was broken. <laughs> Universally ridiculed. Yeah. All the but bugs. No. <laughs> but no, it's the best ball playing game of the year. There it really. is. Yep, yeah, it's in there. I hope it wins it. Just for just for jokes. <laughs> It'd be funny, wouldn't it? I hope they wheel right, out well- Keanu Reeves. He says the breathtaking <laughs> thing again. This award is breathtaking or whatever, and <laughs> so Cyberpunk just cleans up. Yeah, it's so strange. I mean, fuck off. I mean, come on, man. How how on earth is it in there? It, yeah, I have no idea. I mean, I'm sure if they ever batch it to a point where it actually works properly, it'll be good. Uh, but no, not <laughs> it's not. It's still not at that point. Even now, it's still no, it's not. broken. Like they're, they're still yeah, bringing strange. like massive patches out for it yeah. with like hordes and hordes of notes. <laughs> oh, no. Crazy. Uh, other games in this category include Monster Hunter Rise, which I guess it's an good. RPG. Uh, I would say so. The, uh, that's the one for Switch, isn't it? That's good. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Scarlet Nexus, which is apparently very good, but again, barely an RPG. More of a hack and slash, don't make cry kind of thing. Don't you have that? Uh, I do. Yeah, I've, no, I, I downloaded it on. It's on Game Pass now. Oh uh, yeah, of course it is. So that's I downloaded cool. it. I've not played it yet, but it looks it looks nice. I don't know if it's going to be for me, but it looks good. And it's on Game yeah, Pass, so good. why not try it? Yeah, why the hell not? Uh, other games are Simic Online Tensei 5, which just came out, and Tales of Arise, which are both actual RPGs. Um, cool. When is the game? When are the game awards? Is it December? Uh, I think so. Yeah, like 9th of December or something like that. Yeah. I think, the thing that's weird about being like voted on by the public is... Like, a lot of people aren't going to play all these games, so they're just going to vote for the game they've played rather than, you know, games that might actually be, actually be the best game. What would you vote for in that category, the RPG category? Um, well, I've <laughs> barely played any of them. Um, I have to look at it again now. Cyberpunk, I mean, obviously. Well, of uh, course, other, yeah, other apart than... from Cyberpunk, which is the obvious winner. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be between Shin Megami Tensei V, which is really good, and Tales of Arise. I've played the demo of Tales of Arise, which is, yeah... Is that, just... is that a Switch one? Uh, no, it's on PS5 and oh, 4 okay. and Xbox, I think. I'm thinking of something else, I think. Yeah, but it looks really good. I played the demo, it was really good. But I need to get... I haven't really played any of these games. <laughs> That's the problem. Not properly. But yeah. Well, I can tell you firsthand that Cyberpunk is going to win that category because <laughs> it's the the greatest game uh, that's probably ever been made. Oh, uh, yeah, clearly. Yeah. Um, Best racing games. Um, oh, sports. I can say sports slash racing. I was like, <laughs> it's all racing games except for FIFA 22. I was like, what? That's not a racing game. 
<laughs> what, are, what do we have in that category? I've got F1 2021, Creeper 22, uh, Forza Horizon 5, which is going to win. Yeah, which it should uh, do. It should do. Uh, Hot, Wheel, Hot Wheels Unleashed. Also good. Yeah? Oh, good. Uh, and Riders Republic, which I hear is good as well. Also very good. Um, cool. Yeah, uh, I have most of those games. So Hot Wheels is on my PS5 profile, so you can download it and play it. Cool. As is Riders Republic. Awesome. Uh, Forza Horizon 5 easily wins that category. Um, as good as those other games are, and Riders Republic is, I think, prob- with Riders Republic, I think it's the biggest surprise of the year. Yeah, I did not want, did not one of those games I hadn't even heard of until it came out. Yeah, I mean, it's, like, it's a Ubisoft open world game, and, you know, I think it's one of those that people just expected to be garbage. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, just Ubisoft trying something new, and it's going to bomb... Um, but it's surprisingly very, very good. Technically, it's a, a brilliant open world game. It works very well. All the different parts, they all just work. And it's rare to be able to say that in a video game, especially a Ubisoft game straight away. Um, mm-hmm. But it's really good. Yeah, man, if you've um, if you've got access to it, play it, because it's great. Awesome. Hot Wheels Let's is good it fun. It's, it's exactly what you think it is. <laughs> Toy car racing? Yes. Awesome. Around an orange <laughs> track in people's houses. Nice. Sounds cool, actually. Yeah, it was cool. But Forza Horizon wins that category hands down. But again, it begs the question, how is it not in the game of the year contender? Yeah, it's very bizarre. Well, just looking at the uh, categories, there's the category for best action game and a category, category for best action slash adventure game. Like, sure. What, well, they're two different the things. Difference? Apparently so. Okay, so what are, <laughs> what are the nominees in the action one? So in action, we've got Back for Blood, Chivalry 2, Deathloop, Far Cry 6, and Returnal, which will win, hopefully. Or Deathloop. Or Death, that's a good point. Deathloop is really good. And in action adventure, it's basically the same as Game of the Year, but they swapped out It Takes Two with Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> right, <laughs> which okay. Weird. Which is good. Yeah. Um, uh, but the thing, the thing about action adventure is like that could be anything, like any game. You've got Metroid, Front Dreads on there. It's like Psych like Water Two. It's a two very different games, but apparently they're in the same genre. Hmm. Weird. And Resident Evil Village again, completely different. <laughs> yeah, type survival of game. horror. <laughs> yeah. I would say yeah, Resident Evil's not. I mean, it's very difficult to categorize some games now because they're a mix of sort of everything. Yeah. Because, yeah, almost every game has some sort of RPG element in it. So can you have, like, Guns of the Galaxy be an RPG in a RPG category? Probably not, but I mean, <laughs> you could argue. Yeah, I mean, you level up. <laughs> it's true, yeah. So, yeah, I know. God knows. But the Forza Horizon 5 should be in Game of the Year. Yeah. Because okay. there was obviously seemingly no cutoff for this as it's made the racing game category. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I can't stress this enough. Forza Horizon 5 is better rated, is higher rated than any of those games in the Game of the Year category. Wow. Yeah, it's just a funny who came up with these lists. Somebody who doesn't like Forza Horizon 5. <laughs> Apparently so, yeah. <laughs> it's like, um, hey, Jeff, can you... Uh... Sorry, Jeff's, Jeff's the hosting guy. I didn't mean to... It was just literally the first name that came to my head. I was just <laughs> going to do this for a bit. Um, Jeff Keighley. Hey, Bob, um, <laughs> can you pick the uh, games of the year this year? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, but you've got to be diverse. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Resident Evil Village, Psychonauts 2. Well, but yeah, okay, yeah, I've got it. All good. <laughs> okay, what well Bob. Fuck you. Did Bob. Uh, also, I'm very disappointed that we weren't nominated for uh, Best Content Creator of the Year. Uh, I think Doug has been snubbed a little bit there. I think we've been snubbed, uh, especially yeah. with the amazing content that we've put out this year. We've I know, right? been incredibly consistent, whether it be recorded podcasts or whether it be live podcasts. Look, we've been diverse this year, and I feel <laughs> like I feel like we've one hundred percent been snubbed. I think the gaming yeah. industry is scared of us. I think so. Yeah, I think they're intimidated by us. You know, I think so. Good. Yeah. Yeah, well, they'll, they'll learn one day. Maybe next year. They'll learn, they're will they worried that we're going to take over. Yeah, that's the problem, yeah. You know, once, 
Yeah. No one else. No one. No one watched. No one watched anyone else without watching us all the time. Yeah. Oh, Jeff, else. Jeff's gonna lose around. his job. We'll be like presenting game of the year. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Forza wins every year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll be taking over gaming. Exactly. Sorry, Jeff. Yeah. Sorry, Jeff. It's <laughs> not getting Bob to pick the games of the year. Yeah. He's just picking the shit that he likes to play. Stupid Bob. Goddamn Bob. <laughs> uh, right. Let's go over some of the news. Um, the Saints Row reboot has got delayed. Big shocker. Um, it was supposed to come out in February. It's now been delayed to summer 2022. Which is um, okay. Because February is stupid. <laughs> it's pretty stupid. There's so many games coming out that month. It doesn't need... I haven't even seen any gameplay of this yet. So it's like a cinematic trailer. So I uh, yeah, I'm surprised. I, yeah, I'm not surprised either. Um, I'm I'm sure it'll be okay. I mean, yeah. um, the Saints Row games seem pretty consistent in what they do. Um, Saints Row 3 absolutely rules. Uh, yeah, I agree. It's like fun. I when I played... it stopped taking itself so serious mm. and started being absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Completely off the wall, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like they literally just threw the rule book out the window after Saints Row 2 and went, fuck it, let's just go stupid with it. Yeah. Make everything purple and let people do Stone Cold Stunners during a street fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> but it's awesome. And it's so funny. That's what games so should good. be. Games should be super fun. Yeah. Just just fun. And Saints Row embraces that tenfold. It's so ridiculously stupid. Yeah. So not every game needs to be super realistic and gritty. Just have fun. Yeah. Just have fun. Yeah. Good times. Um, what else have you got? Uh, we've got some new backwards compatible games on Xbox Series X slash S slash one. Are you going to um, reel all of these off? There's 76. 76. I'll go through the highlights. Um, 50 Cent, Blood and the Science. Hell the yeah. What's the game? <laughs> Did you own yeah. that? Uh, no. Oh. I'm, not, I'm trying to get a copy of it because you can't buy it digital, which is fucking stupid. Xbox, that is weird. what are you doing? Just put it. All these games that you've announced, just make them digital as well. Yeah. Otherwise, Xbox Series S people uh, are fucked. Yeah, good point. Are we guess licensing, but they're taking that off the store with fifty cent. Yeah, but don't if make it back that's compatible. The case. Yeah, that's a good point. Why would they make it back compatible? If that's weird. Because the disc basically just downloads the game. Yeah, that's strange. Maybe they'll that's fix it. Strange. I don't know. Yeah. Either way, I want that game. Yeah, you'll be out there. You'll get cheap on off eBay or something. You would think this, but I've looked. Oh yeah, and people have been dicks. They've obviously seen <laughs> that it's it's like CEX, right? Before it was about three quid. Now yep. it's a tenner when you can get it. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, people are dicks. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else we got? Um, oh, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Make the grade. Why? 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 Who asked for that? Games. <laughs> Where's games Project Gotham Racing Four? Yeah. What the Hell fuck yeah. are That's... you doing? <laughs> hey, Xbox. What are you doing? Tell what are you doing? What are Why? you doing? Where's Project Gotham? Where's all of them? Where are they? Where are <laughs> Give it to what us. are you doing? Project Gotham. They're great games. I love those games. Yeah, me too. And I'd love to play them again, but I can't. Yeah. Xbox is for me too. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <sighs> what are you doing? You madman. Stupid. But now you can play the Eyes Mark the Fifth Credit, so who cares? Yeah, yeah, great. That's, that's true, actually. Yeah, I don't know what I'm moaning about. <laughs> Stupid me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got Binary Domain, which is an underrated uh, third-person shooter. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Uh, Dead or Alive. We've got Dead or Alive Ultimate, Dead or Alive 3, Dead or Alive 4. Very good games. Uh, Dead or Alive 3 was the one that launched with the Xbox, right? Yeah, that sounds right. Mm. Good game. Really good. Um, lots of uh, jiggle physics in that game. Um, yes. We've got... <laughs> We've got the Fear games, Fear, Fear 2, Project Origin, and Fear 3, all very good horror games. Yep, good stuff. Recommended. Uh, Manhunt. Cruise really? Tell, but really fun. Yep, that's on there. Right, okay. I didn't even realise it came out on Xbox, actually. Yeah, oh, it would have been on the original Xbox, wouldn't it? Yeah, I would have thought so. That's cool. Also, uh, Max Payne 1, 2, and 3. Yep, good. All excellent. Uh, we got Mortal Kombat 9 and DC Universe. Yeah, love Both Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Great game. Very cool. Uh, oh, it won for me. Here we go. Uh, only Chambra Bikini Samurai Squad. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> now we're Somebody talking. has had to go in and be like, uh, what games should we make backwards compatible? And someone in the background 
doing his zip up, <laughs> pushing the fucking what's it's away from his face. Uh, uh, time, I got one. I got one. It's the, <laughs> <laughs> it's the samurai bikini one. <laughs> Good accent. <laughs> Xbox. What are you doing? <laughs> it's so weird. What are you doing? Why? Uh, why is this one there? Why is Project Gotham? What the fuck are you doing? Uh, another weird one. Resident Evil. Operation Raccoon City. Which one's that? Why? A, a terrible multiplayer one that's terrible and pointless, and everyone hated it. So of course it gets put on backwards compatibility. Is there a server still open? I think so. Why? Surely <sighs> no one's playing that still. Yeah, I don't understand that one. Hey, Very strange. <laughs> what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Why this and not Project Gotham 4? And but instead of that, we've got Risen One and Two, both are very below average RPGs. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Um, Skate Two, that's a good one. Good, yeah. But Skate. they're turning the servers off in December. Oh yeah, I saw that. Hey, <laughs> Great, thanks. EA, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> don't make the game backwards compatible. I don't turn the servers off. <laughs> That's so harsh. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's so fucking stupid. But like, it was literally, it was almost in the same breath. They tweeted that it was coming to the backwards compatibility. The tweet after was, but. <laughs> but you can't actually play it online anymore. You can't games. play it online anymore. <laughs> uh, that's so stupid. Uh, we've got a bunch of Star Wars games. We've got Star Wars Starfighter, Star Wars Episode 3, Star Wars The Clone Wars, and Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast. TM. Mm. TM. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Time Split is 2 and Time Split is Future Perfect. Both yes, great games. They're good games. Oh, yeah. And a bunch of other random stuff. Um, and yeah. But no Project Gotham Racing. Sorry, Tony. Where's Avatar oh. the game? The uh, the one you can get <laughs> a th easy thousand gamer score on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got that on there. Yeah. Every, every, you know, how to. What's, what's it called? The fifth grader one? How, are you smarter uh, than you, a fifth grader? Yeah. Gotta get that on there. Oh, no, Avatar is on there. Avatar The Last Airbender. No, it's not that. That's, it's not that one, is it? That's it's not, one. No, no, it's, the, it's Avatar the movie, isn't it? The one with... Uh, oh, that one. Yeah, the one that was an easy thousand gamer score, wasn't it? Yeah, that one was, and the other Avatar game. Which oh, The Last Airbender on the, one? Yeah, but not... I don't, don't think it's this one. I think it's a different Avatar Of course it game is. Based on the, yeah, who knows? Hey, <laughs> Xbox... <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, oh, and the Red Dead Revolver's on there. Though. Yeah, Red Dead Revolver, pre prequel to Red Dead Redemption, obviously. That's that come out on the Xbox as well? Uh, yeah, I think so. Are we on the Xbox? Mm, okay. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Um, and as well as that, some games have got an FPS boost, which are already on there. Uh, games like Dead Space 2 and 3, uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, what else? Fable 3, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, uh, Sonic Generations, Sonic Unleashed, which Unleashed is kind of a big deal. People are pleased about that one because it's the first time you can actually play that game in 60 FPS because it's one of the few that didn't come out on PC for some reason. Is that That's a not a good one though, is it? Um, It's a mixed bag. You've got, the, you got like daytime levels, which is like Lattic Sonic, and you've got nighttime levels, which is like the weird werewolf, werehog levels, which aren't good. So it's half good and half bad. Right. <laughs> so yeah. So like all 3D Sonic games. <laughs> Some much. good stuff, but a lot of crap as well. Yeah. Sonic Generations though. That's a good one. Hey, Sonic Generations is great. Really good. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh Far Cry 3 is on there as well. Gears of War, everything's on there. So yeah. <laughs> lot Gears of War everything. Yeah. Literally. One, two, three, judgment, ultimate. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> and Mirror's Edge. Mirror's Edge Mirror's Edge is excellent and probably a game that would definitely benefit from 60 FPS yeah yeah oh yeah absolutely yeah mm. Big good time. game never never played the sequel though well I did play it but never like to um, like an you know an extensive amount yeah I heard mixed things about it but it's not supposed to be as good which mm. is a shame I mean the first one was pretty amazing when it came out because simply there wasn't anything else like it when it came out yeah, it's mind blowing. But with two, uh, I think it looks pretty, but 
I don't know. It's probably on EA Access. I probably own it somewhere, to be honest, but I don't know. <laughs> probably. Um, oh, yeah, so just looked it up um, out of curiosity. Resident Evil Operation Wrecking City has 52% on Metacritic. Right. And, I, and IGN gave it 4 out of 10. Right, okay. A worthy addition to the backwards compatibility list. Now, I yeah. wonder how many active players it's got. <laughs> Very few. Apparently, you can't play it single player. I don't know why you would. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you play it at all. Single player, <laughs> multiplayer. There's yeah. better things to play with yourself. That's way more entertaining than playing that game. <laughs> to play with yourself, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what would be a really good addition to backwards compatibility? Oh, yeah? Uh, Project Gotham Racing 4. Yeah, that's, a good, that's a good point. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Yeah. Um, I think you're out of luck because Xbox has said this is going to be the last batch yep. of games coming to backwards yep. compatibility, which sucks. Hey! <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, but look, uh, we should be happy that we've got 50 Cent Blood on the Sand, which I'm actually pretty happy about that. Banging yeah, soundtrack. Cool. And genuinely, not a shit game. Yeah. One of those games you think, looking at it, would be this is going to be a whole of garbage. But then you play yep. it, it's like, oh, this is like, not oh, a whole of garbage. 50 Cent. It's actually pretty okay. Yeah, 50 Cent chasing down payment for a gig that he did in the desert, <laughs> um, which just descends into guerrilla warfare very quickly. <laughs> yeah. just get your agent Mental. on the phone to ring the promoter and make sure you get the money <laughs> don't kill everybody in the <laughs> desert to get your money yeah that's not as fun of, as fun of a game though calling your agent 50 cent call your agent yeah boop, 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 boop. yeah the game's Wait, over in like five minutes five, not even that <laughs> it's not even a five minute conversation you just select the dialogue <laughs> yeah give me money yeah hey why <laughs> did you not pay me then, yeah, you know, there's a few different things you could do with it. could be a great game. Make it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, in the 60 FPS boost category, there's a game called Black College Football Experience. Experience the next. What's it called? Uh, Black College Football Experience Doug Williams Edition. So, sorry, Black College Football. Yeah. Experience. Is this... Yeah. I'm not even sure I want to know what it is. Uh, I'm Googling it now. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> got 3.5 out of 10 on the RGN. Yep, good. Another we'll, we'll worthy edition. Effort. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, it's, it's, well, what the hell? Fo- <laughs> it's football with mini games, I guess. Football as in American football. Yeah, yeah. Sports ball. Sports. What a, what a random game. Hmm. Uh, here we go, Wikipedia. It's a sports video game centered on the culture of black college football uh, created by some entertainment company of Baton Rouge. Uh, it's it's a football game, basically. Okay, cool. And not very good. Right. <laughs> yeah. Why, what, such a random list of games. Why, of all games, that? <laughs> Whatever. Thanks, Microsoft. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. But, um, Skate 2, great. Even if you can't, not that I would play it online anyway, but still, it's funny. Um, <laughs> uh, Fifty Cent Blood on the Sand, which we talked about, and Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe, which is great. Yeah, awesome. Those are games I will go back and play again. Cool. How to outsmart a whatever it's called, ten-year-old, five-year-old, <laughs> fifth grader, fifth yeah, grader. That's it. Much. Yeah, not neither of those things that I said. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much all the. Uh, most gaming news we've gone so far. Interesting stuff. Um, <laughs> Define <yeah>. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, the funny stuff. And not boring stuff. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, should we go to the games of the month quickly? Uh, yeah. Like we said at the beginning of the podcast, it's the middle of the month and we know this. <laughs> um, but we don't care. Um. I was looking at it now. Tiny Tina's is that didn't come out this month, did it? Tiny Tina's Assault and Dragon Creep, uh, Keep, the one, the Borderlands spinoff. Is that out? Oh yeah, it's out. I think. Did it? I don't know. Wow, actually, they... I don't know if it is out. They kept quiet about that. They did. Come, come on to play this. Hold on, Google. Apparently, it came out nine days ago. Really? Yeah. According to the website, it's gonna be completely. Wrong. I don't think it did. Um. IGN gave it nine point two. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Because oh, there was I a did, Borderlands did, 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 did. 2 DLC. 
Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, it's a different thing. So I was thinking it was a new spin-off, but no, this is the DLC, which I guess is coming out now on different consoles. Right. Uh, sure. That's What's... not confusing. Yeah. So when's the Stand other one? Camp... The Borderlands 3 one? I have no idea. Well, the spin-off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe this is... The... Oh, hold on. <laughs> now, I'm certain there's a Borderlands 2 DLC of a similar name. Yeah. That's so weird. But I don't know for sure. Yeah, it's a fourth campaign DLC of Borderlands 2 that came out in 2013. Uh, oh, okay, but re-released as Tiny, Tiny Teenies and Solid Dragon Creep, a Wonderlands one-shot adventure, which is a different game, which is the one that apparently came out. But uh, who knows? We'll skip that one. I'll look it up later. What <laughs> on earth it's, is going on? It's so confusing. That's yeah, whatever. We'll skip wow, it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Skip it. It's fine. I'll, we'll talk about talk about it next week. If it's out, we'll talk about it next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy. Uh, let's go through the big games. Obviously, Boards Horizon Five came out, which is excellent. Well, not good enough for game of the year, but that's okay. <laughs> Apparently not. Um. Well, that's what else. Call of Duty Vanguard, obviously very good. Yep, enjoyable. Um, 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 um GTA trilogy. It, yeah, could, be it could be better. Could be better. Oh, Skyrim came out again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the. Is it next gen now? Uh, yeah, anniversary edition. It came out on PS5, and Xbox Series X slash S. Do we know how this looks? Because I've seen nothing about it. Uh, pretty. <laughs> it's really? uh, got all the new yeah it's very pretty prettier version of Skyrim every, every release every time they release it it gets prettier and prettier that's true actually is... so I'm assuming this is the last time we see Skyrim released well you say that oh, <laughs> I know, know I know um, um, but yeah just... it's if you've not played it before this is the time to do it because it's it's super pretty it's you know a legendary game at this point if anyone has done a podcast in the last 10 years and Skyrim's <laughs> been released they've gone if you've not played it yet, now's the time to play it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's my, it's Skyrim, it's great. Good yeah, much. I've been, te- I've got it. I mean, I, I, I had Skyrim and the the Series X upgrade is free. Um, so nice. I have been tempted to download it just to have a look, but I haven't got around to it yet. I will at some you point should. probably. Yeah, I like Skyrim. Great. The last time I played it, I was stuck. So uh, you're stuck. How do you get stuck on Skyrim? I got stuck, and I can't. I just can't. <laughs> Yeah, I just can't avoid. I can't avoid this monster that's after me. Oh, right. You got stuck in the bad save point, basically. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> You're stuck in a cave with a bad monster and you can't get around it. Yep. <laughs> Fair. And I don't know what. Well, I, I've got to, like, go to an area, but I can't get to that area without going. without this monster just being there. <laughs> um, well, that's a good thing about Skyrim, is if you can't go there yet, just. Go somewhere else. It's a big world. That we have a quest to do. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Kind of great. Um, what else? So Shin Megami Tensei 5, which is a game for me. It came out a few days ago. Um, it's, it's, it's the main... So it's, okay. So Persona is a spin-off of the Shin Megami Tensei series. And there's lots of different spin-offs. And this oh, is really? Like the, 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 yeah. This is like the first main entry um, of this generation. First since start 3DS. Okay. Um and yeah, Bandit's very good, very difficult. Um, people are annoyed at IGM because they compared it to Persona 5 because it's nothing like Persona 5. They said, oh, it's like Persona 5, but too hard and I can't play it. Cry. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, it's not supposed to be Persona 5, shut up. Uh, it's in Bob's but, Game of the Year, or RPG of the Year at least. Yeah. <laughs> but it's really, really good. I look forward to playing that at some point. Very difficult, very good. My kind of game. Yeah, sounds like it, to be fair. <laughs> Um, what else? I've oh, got that new Sherlock Holmes game, Chapter One, is out or coming okay. out in a few days. Oh, it's uh, out now. Came out two days ago. Look, look boring, but it might be okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like a detective game, obviously. Oh, is it? Um, <laughs> what gave that away? <laughs> hey, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Hooray! Hey. Do we have the drum roll thing. Uh, oh yeah, the. Wait, let me say it again. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, oh. <laughs> No shit, Sherlock. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's why this podcast is the best podcast on earth. Yeah. Best best in the world. Yep. <laughs> um, what else? What else? 
Uh, do you remember Blood Rain? Yes. Uh, it's got a Blood Rain revamped too. I guess it's a enhanced edition of the original game or the sequel. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's cool. Like a little vampire game, like hack and slash kind of thing. PS2 era. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even know that was coming out. Yeah, that's cool. Classic game. Yeah. Um, what else we got? Oh, Pokemon, of course. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, remakes of the uh, original games on the DS. Can't wait for that. I've asked for it for my birthday, which is in just a couple of days' time. Nice. Happy birthday for a couple of days' time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, we have Battlefield 2042. Um, uh, I actually saw supposed to be shit. Yeah, not 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 the best reviews online just yet. I actually saw a thing like last week saying like the best selling games at the month, best pre-orders, uh, and this was right below Farming Simulator 2022. Wow. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. says a lot. People people rather play Farming Simulator than Battlefield. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Bad times <laughs> for Battlefield. Battlefield used to be like the one that people used to go to. We used yeah, to be like, like oh, fuck, card. Let's go play Battlefield. 64 players on a map. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Now it's how the mighty have fallen. Yeah, I mean, Battlefield like is out this week, and then Microsoft just shadow dropped Halo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Multiplayer, and it's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys, where's the guys? Go, go, uh. Guys, Battlefield <laughs> 202042. 20, oh. <laughs> guys, realistic. Big battle. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> guys, this is what war in twenty forty two is going to look like, probably. <laughs> uh, poor Batfield. Yeah. Uh, what else? Ooh, here we go. Cricket twenty twenty two. Nice. Correct. Cool. Oh, no. Sure. <laughs> PC and next. Oh, PC and everything. Everything else. All the consoles. Yeah. It's cricket. If you're a boring person and like cricket, here we go. <laughs> 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 Uh, seriously, they won't. I think there are people that listen to this podcast that like cricket. <laughs> and you're you're a boring person. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to, to be the one to, to tell you this, but sorry guys. <laughs> sorry, cricket fans. Yeah, I, I don't get it. It's like last two weeks, and it's just not know, all know. cricket lasts two weeks. <laughs> like some cricket just lasts twenty overs. I don't know what that means. Twenty lots of six balls. Right. <laughs> so, like, you know, when they do the bowling, uh-huh. I'm probably wrong, but you get six bowls and that's an over, one over. So you Got bowl it. six times, that's one over. So you have like 20 20 cricket, so each team gets 20 overs. The one with the best score at the end wins. Quick. Right. It's quicker. Got it. I know you throw your balls at a stick and then the yeah. Batman has to stop the balls, mint the stick, yep. and then they win. And then they run up and down a bit. Yep. Cricket. <laughs> That's it's right by it. You are the, the sportiest person I know. Yep. <laughs> uh fun. <laughs> <laughs> um do you remember uh Oddworld Soulstorm? Oh yeah, I do actually. <laughs> um that's got an enhanced edition now. That's had a what? bunch of uh Yeah, enhanced edition. Free upgrade for uh owners of the original. It includes the PlayStation Plus version, which is nice. Uh bunch of like improvements and if it came uh, out like a month ago, just or oh, however long. Patch it. <laughs> I know, Why right? is there an enhanced edition already? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's, ba- it's basically a glorified patch. It's free if you already own it. Um, right. Yeah, it improves everything that people are complaining about. The AI is better. It's less bugs. It looks prettier. So yeah, I it looked nice anyway. Yeah, me too. So yeah, that's that. Is there if you want to play it? Which I do at some point. One day, maybe. Who knows? After, after all these other games, <laughs> you'll never get round to playing it. Probably not. No. Probably not. I've played it. It's nice. But I'm not going to go back to it. <laughs> yeah. I thought, this That's is okay. Fair. It moves too slow for me. I just... No. Yeah. I think it was a very, it's a very slow game. The mission was very slow as well. Yeah. Um, that's about it. Football Manager. Um, some other random stuff which I won't talk about because it'll be forever. Um, oh, Ghost Sync. It's a anime thing. What's it called? Uh, Ghost Sync. S-Y-N-K. Uh, NC, like NSYNC, but with ghosts. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the page isn't loading, so I can't tell you what it is. Cool. Um, a prison simulator. You can simulate being in a prison. Great, yeah. Why would you <laughs> want to do that? Uh, who knows? Don't drop uh, the soap. Don't drop it. <laughs> Press X to pick up the soap. 
<laughs> Achievement unlocked. Yeah. So get bombed. Get bombed in Britain. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, so that's about it really for this month. A few big getters. Um, drop, drop soap, get bombed. Yeah, drop soap, get bombed. <laughs> uh, fun times. So that's the game to the month for this Great. month. Okay, cool. That's uh, there's some, there's some okay stuff. Yeah, I think it's stuff in there. Forza like Horizon is the best game of the month. Do you? You can say that or Pokemon. I'd say. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd say TTA, but new. Nah, well, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's about well, gaming stuff. I think. Cool. We got sent this by 2K earlier on. So 2K earlier on released a a top 10 things trailer for WWE 2K20. Uh, uh, yes. We got sent the press stuff to um, our email because we're gaming press. That's us. We're cool. Yeah, we're, we're important. Yeah, we we're are. Important people in the gaming media. Here's a graphic. There's Goldberg Ooh. looking pretty angry. Sweaty as well. Goldberg, the only person they've got. Otherwise, they haven't been released yet. Yeah, they, they, he's the only person they've done a character model for because otherwise, <laughs> uh, they just they don't don't do anyone else. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they wait until like the last month and then yeah, bang them all at once. Okay, these are the guys I hear. Let's go. Yeah. So uh, WWE 2K22, the hit list. WWE 2K22's top most anticipated innovations revealed. Redesign gameplay engine. Good. Good. About time. Needs it. New controls. Good. 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 Stunning graphics, good. I hope so. Yeah, imagine just like coming out and just be shit again. <laughs> Looks like a PS2 game, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> immersive presentation, which it always does kind of have anyway. Yeah, that works for me. Um, new Hopefully. W2K showcase, which based on the trailer is um, Rey Mysterio. But you got that. It was going to be Daniel Bryan, and then it was going to be Adam Cole, uh, and then it was going to be uh, Bray Wyatt. Uh, <laughs> then it was going to be CM Punk as a special pre-order bonus and <laughs> now it's Rey Mysterio because f- you know what forget it <laughs> it's like okay who's definitely not going to leave right Rey Mysterio he's going to be here okay we're good yeah. they should have done it if they could do it anyone they should have done it on Roman Reigns <laughs> yeah, probably yeah that makes sense. who's guaranteed to be here forever <laughs> ah Roman Reigns got it uh, my GM <laughs> makes a return that's cool hey, cool level GM mode yeah so that'd be good very cool. uh, my faction, not sure what it is. Ooh. Um, I'm guessing, and this is just a guess, I have no idea. Uh, it might be like the My Team thing from NBA, like an Ultimate Team style feature. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. My Rise, which is, uh, again, based on the trailer, looks like the story mode. Okay, that makes sense. Can't be any worse than the last one. Holy oh, God. shit, yeah. that was terrible. Oh, yeah. It was so bad. The boys acting it was just, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Unbelievably bad. Uh, universe mode is returning. Um, hey. I always like universe mode. It's good fun. And uh, yeah, there's a, a a more enhanced and in-depth creation street, uh, suite. It's not street. Cool. So <laughs> yeah, there we go. Creation suite's already like amazing. You see creations and people are made and it's like, mm. this is amazing. It just looks like the person. Yeah. So to get that but even better, then awesome. Yeah. Did you watch the trailer? Um, I don't think so. If there's a new one, then no, I haven't watched it. Could we get it in here, do we think? Uh, probably. Let me find out. Two seconds. Uh, any two. Fucked it. 2K22 trailer. Uh, oh, four hours ago. So yeah, it's supposed to be the new one. Uh, let me go ahead and bring this up. Here we go. See, guys, this is why have we been snubbed for creators of the year when <laughs> we can bring you such exquisite quality podcasts like this yeah right here we go here's some idiot looking at it going oh yeah oh <laughs> there's <laughs> every, bailey oh it's just every thumbnail ever on youtube at least yeah, we're not idiots. gonna do that all right no. we will never do that because we're the best creators on yeah Earth. it's these thumbnails are all the same look it's this guy there's these guys this guy here yeah i'm sure they're all you know great people but come on yeah be original yeah We said we have more updates in January, but we couldn't wait. We are kaboom guys. It's a sneak peek of the to get to the most... We'll say we release next week. We design gameplay engine. 
new controls. You can't see them because it's, it's too fast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this thing. That looks very pretty. Yeah. That's amazing. A universe populated by monsters, giants, and larger than life beings. I was determined to find my own path to the top of the mountain in sports entertainment. Booyaka. Booyaka, Booyaka. Who's that jumping out of the sky? <laughs> GMO. My. I think I've on this video here, but... Oh. <laughs> Can you stab people as you're back inside? I hope so. That was cool. Yeah, it looks oh, very pretty. It does. Amazing. Very nice. So yeah, there you go. There's the WWE 2K22 trailer. Probably copyright claim on YouTube right this second. Probably. Thank you, YouTube. The thing is, you can't do shit on YouTube now, right? I did that live stream on Sunday, and there's a copyright claim on it, and it was literally just me. <laughs> just how? Was it like any music or anything like that? Or just did you just hear? No, it's just me. I, I, I might be the unless it's the countdown thing for fuck's sake. Ugh, maybe that's so, so weird. So YouTube, stupid though. YouTube sucks. Hey, we make no money off this YouTube. What the <laughs> fuck do you want from us? Yeah. God damn it. Blah. Good old YouTube. Yeah. Good old YouTube. So yeah, that's WWE 2K22. Looks good. Yeah. Very pretty. Please be good. Uh, please. It sounds promising. So, 2K, please. Come on, 2K. Come on, I believe you, in you. I believe in. I also believe in them. I believe in the me that believes in you. You can do it. Um, let's talk wrestling. Let's. You still watching WWE? Um, I, I blast through it. Yeah. I blast it through what? What? Um, what's the what? What? Well, um, Owens versus Rollins on Raw, which is very good. It's basically yeah, what yeah. I do now. I skip through War. Is this a good match? Oh, this looks okay. I'll watch this. Yeah. I think that's I mean, how you Owens have to be Palin. with WWE now. Yeah. I meant Owens versus Palace. Sorry. I can't be mixed up. Also fine. <laughs> yeah. Good match. Yeah. It's a mixed bag WWE at the minute because, you know, we had the latest round of releases, which, of course, you guys covered last week on the podcast. And we've said it before mm. and I'll say it again. It just makes WWE very difficult to enjoy because, you, you know, I was excited about Keith Lee being featured on TV. Yeah, me too. And then you think, oh, I'm going to tune into Raw, see what Keith Lee does this week. Gone. <laughs> nope. Got a brand Gone new name. just like me in my camera. Kicked nope, off again. There you go. <laughs> kind of a good time, it, it? I, I love that it does it. It makes me so happy. Yeah. It's all the okay, time. Here we go again. Nope. There we are. But I'm back. And it's all good. I'm back. I'm better <laughs> than ever. Copyright strike right there. Boom. Off YouTube. Boom. Make no money Boom. ever from the podcast. Boom. <laughs> Budge. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, WWE's a mixed bag at the minute. It's very hard to to, to sort of get into and enjoy. Uh, by all accounts, Raw has actually been better these last few weeks. Yeah, that's, that's I some, don't uh, know myself. I haven't been watching. Yeah, it's, it, to say it's better isn't like it can't get much worse. Um, but it's been called cool, so Kevin Owens turned heel, which is nice. Uh, Good. Biggie's yeah, Biggie's doing good work as champion, which is awesome to see. Um, and yeah, a few good matches on there every week, so it's okay. It's not good, oh. <laughs> but it's okay. And Reigns is still carrying SmackDown pretty much. Oh yeah, Reigns is, yeah, so good. So good. Um, I mean, he's WWE's MVP, 100%. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's some ridiculous talent still on that roster. I mean, there was a ridiculous amount of talent released. But yeah. uh, they've still got a great amount of talent on the roster. Of course, Survivor Series is this weekend. And I have to be honest, yeah. I don't really give a shit. No, because it's like, it's no real stakes. It's like, oh, brand supremacy. It's like, you only just had like a draft. <laughs> it's like, who cares? Mm. Um, I'm sure, yeah. you know, I'm sure Roman Reigns versus Big E would be great, but it means nothing. Yeah, it means nothing. Uh, I would like to see a Big E win, but um, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, you know, you can, all signs point to Roman Reigns winning all the time, forever. Yeah, I imagine there'll be some sort of Uso and New Day interference. Yeah. Which would be fine. Uh, speaking of New Day, Xavier Woods being King of the Ring is very cool. Happy to see, happy for him because he's wanted this for, you know, for so long. Yeah, me too. I, I really, I mean, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Xavier Woods. And, yeah, same here. Uh, yeah, it's great to see him in such a great position in WWE right now. Uh, you know, same goes for all of New Day. You know, Kofi's had his run as champion, a, and Biggie's having his run now. Uh, Xavier Woods is king of the ring, so it's great. Best faction, one of the best factions in WWE history, 100%. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Very good. Um, NXT, you've been following NXT 2.0? I haven't actually, no. But I keep meaning to go back to it, but I just, yeah, it suddenly didn't keep me away. Like, yeah, I, I feel like I, I want to watch it. Yeah, me too, yeah, because, yeah. There's some good talent on there. Like, I don't dislike any of the guys on there. Like, Bron Breaker's, like, they're going to be a huge star. You can just tell already. Yeah, people speak all, very all highly tools. of him as well. Yeah. Because, um, I, 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 you know, I like Mandy Rose as champion. Never thought I'd mm-hmm. say that a few months ago. But this has been great ever since coming back. Yeah. With that new tag team. Um, And, yeah, it's, it's a good show. I just can't think I'm to watch it. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm with you on that. But I, I can't put my finger on why. I just don't... You know, whereas before NXT had this sort of like, uh, it was for us, wasn't it? It was for us. You know, we said yeah, it so <laughs> many months. times. It was for us. But yeah. this NXT, um, I'm not, I'm, to be honest, I don't know who they're aiming at. I like <laughs> the fact that they're building new people. Yeah. But I don't know. I can't, I can't drag myself towards it. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same. Um. Yeah, I want like yeah. It's one of those I want to watch it, but I kind of don't at the same time. It's weird. Yeah, mixed mixed feelings. I feel just... like it should be all or nothing with with NXT 2.0 because you've still yeah. got you know you've still got Gargano, you've still got Champa, you've still got Pete Dunn and people like that around. For me, just do it all or nothing. Yeah. Go, everyone who is a you know an NXT quote unquote veteran, um, you know, stick them on the main roster. Yeah, you know, do something with them there. There's, you know, Champa, Gargano, done. They, they'd all fit in very well. Yeah, I agree. Um, and to just have completely new faces on NXT. Yeah, that makes sense. But uh, and and do what you need to do that way. Build your new stars. Do what you need to do. Um, but I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'll get back into it at some point. But with I, with WWE in general right now, I'm very sort of. Um, not bothered yeah me too he just want like whenever you try to get start to get back into it you hear some other you know, more releases some more the bad stuff yeah we'll have like a bad few weeks of, like in tv yeah it's like uh there's yeah, no consistency there is there there's no sort of um no <laughs> there's no there's nothing gripping you keeping you watching the product that's the <laughs> that's the such a massive issue with WWE at the minute I mean I follow the results on social media like I always do you know I wake up on a Tuesday morning and you know with blurred eyes I look at what the raw results are and see if anything entertaining happened that's going to make me want to watch the show um, and I do the same for NXT and I do the same for Smackdown but nothing is dragging me back in yeah whereas you know we'll finish recording this podcast tonight and I will watch Dynamite because I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but I will watch same. it tonight. Yeah, same here. Nah, full you know, gear. I catch glimpses of it, and uh, I watched Full Gear. I thought it was great. Really, yeah, really amazing. great show. Really good show. A couple of flat bits, but it was overall it was a really great show. Yeah. But, you know, with Dynamite, I'm excited to watch it. I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. Whereas WWE's not gripping me at the minute like that. And I would yeah, love it too. Like- you know, we're lifers. We're WWE, we are WWE lifers. Yeah, we can't but I, yeah, <laughs> but at the minute I can't bring myself to watch it. Yeah, it's just it, we've said it before, but it's just so predictable every week. You know, Cause Roman Reigns is going to come down, do his five minute entrance, cut a promo. Five is generous. <laughs> it's true. Uh, the Usos will do something. Um, someone will come down to interrupt Roman. They'll have some sort of attack match later. Um, Paul Heyman will say his words. <laughs> you know, it's the same thing every week, you know. Yeah. I want I want something I want them to mix it up. I want them to throw Walter on SmackDown. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, he's looking in that. great shape at the minute. You know, he yeah. really is. And, you know, they're obviously testing the waters a little bit because, the, you know, they had that match with Cesaro on the uh, the UK tour. And yeah. I saw a picture that Walter put up of um, him looking at Finn Balor. Ooh. Yeah, so it looks like that cool kind match. of thing's not over yet. Because remember, they teased that on NXT UK, and that was going to be the match at um, NXT UK TakeOver Dublin. Oh, yeah. Um, so, happened. you know, I would love to see... I would love to see Walter um, on the main roster mixing it up. Oh, yeah. Me too. At this point, who's believable in beating Reigns? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Why we can't need it be Walter? Yeah. That'd be so cool. That'd be such a good match. Do something to make me interested in that product again. Give me a yeah. reason to watch. It's like, yeah, I like yeah, Roman Reigns as much as the next person. I think he's been a great champion, and I love the work he's been doing since he's been um, a heel. Mm. Incredible stuff. Absolutely incredible. And I still believe he's the biggest star in all of pro wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd agree with that. The absolute biggest. No, Nobody touches. Yep, okay. You, you know, Kenny Omega, great wrestler. Um, Adam Page, great, great wrestler. So many great wrestlers in AEW, but not one of them is as big a superstar as Roman Reigns. Yeah, Roman Reigns has all the tools, as they say. Yeah. Great in the mic, great in the ring. It's a great character, good actor. You know, all... give, give me a reason to watch the show. Yeah, just yeah, do something with him. <laughs> yeah, really Roman Reigns isn't you know enough for me to watch the show. Roman Reigns versus Big E isn't enough for me to watch the show. Yeah, we just yeah, we need stakes. We need something to care about. Yeah, because Survivor Series means fuck all. I preferred Survivor Series back in the day when it was like a random team of faces versus a random team of heels that give them a catchy name and just throw them in the ring together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now it's brand supremacy. Whoever wins, wins. And that's it. Yeah, whoever wins, I oh, means nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nothing at all. I mean, look at this Survivor Series picture here, right? Look at the talent on the picture. There we go. So, talent. unbelievable talent. Um, Roman Reigns, obviously, there at the forefront. Becky, uh, Becky and Charlotte, that whole thing's a fucking mess at the minute. Oh, God. A real mess. It feels very personal. I don't know if all of this stuff's a shoot or it's a work or what. I don't know. Sasha Banks, yeah. incredibly talented. Bianca Belair, unbelievable. Damien Priest, I love. Um, Finn Balor, great. Rhea Ripley, great. Rey Mysterio, to be honest, I could do without these days, but it's fine. Yeah. Incredible of, uh, array of talent. Yeah, speaking of Damien Priest, he's been having some good matches with uh, T-Bar, of all people, recently. I well, don't think he was on this week, but... The thing with T-Bar, he's now done away with the mask. Yes, thank He's goodness. now wearing just Brax. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and face paint. <laughs> yeah, Brax and face paint. <laughs> and he's basically Dominic Dijakovic again with some face paint. <laughs> Pretty much. And you know what? I'm absolutely fine with it. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Dominic Dijakovic, unbelievable talent. Great talent, great wrestler. Just use him. I don't care that his name's T-Bar. Who gives a shit? Yeah, right? I don't been... care. Yeah, to let him have actual good matches where he's not dropped out every week. It's a weird tag team. Yeah, and now it's fine because he's having good yeah. matches with Damian Priest. I would love to see him win the United States Championship at some point. Yeah, me too. That'd be awesome. Yeah. There's just a lot that needs fixing in WWE at the minute. They need to come out and give us some sort of direction as to yeah. where they're heading. Come on, just come out and address the situation. We know it's a shit show. You know, you can't insult our intelligence as wrestling fans any more than you already have. So at this point, you know, there's so much negative press surrounding WWE. And I said this on the live on Sunday, just just come out and say, look, we fucked it. All right. <laughs> and we need we need to change things and things will get progressively better. So just stick with us. And if they came out and we actually saw change every week, then you get us back in. Yeah. Remember when they came out and went with like the authority yes. and said, it's not going to be any more authority. And you're the authority. And then nothing changed. <laughs> like do that, but actually make, actually do something different. Yeah, do that, <laughs> but actually do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, say those things, but this time do it. Yeah, actually, actually do it. Don't make us go, hey, <laughs> WWE. Why do you do it? Why do you do it? Why is it the same every week? <laughs> Why are they fighting with no ropes in the basement? <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> you know 
<laughs> just, just it it shouldn't be as complicated as they're making it. No, like, AEW just figured it out. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you make a lot more money than they do. Just you know, figure it out. Yeah, do what they're doing, but do it you know with more money. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to figure it out. Yeah, do it you know with more brand exposure. Yeah. <laughs> so do what they're doing. Like have good wrestling matches with the good wrestlers that you've got. But just do it on the bigger scale that you've got. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're making so much money. We know that budget cuts is bullshit. Yeah, it's the biggest, you know, profitable year in a long time. And yet, this, you know, or ever. And yet, we're going to release all our investors to make even more money, I guess. I'm happy for WWE to have a smaller roster, right? I'm sure. totally fine with WWE having a smaller roster. Uh, and doing what they're doing with NXT. The problem is the people they've released against the people they should have, you know, or could have potentially released. People that were yeah. doing, the, people that are doing fuck all that probably could do something. Yeah, like they've kept Jackson Wiker. Yep. For some why? reason. Um, why? Hey. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why? Why are you doing this? Jackson Wiker fucking sucks. <laughs> And you got people who've been there for ages and haven't really done anything, like you know, Dana Brooke. No Chad offense to Gable. her. Great wrestler, doing Amazing. nothing. Well, he's, he's been in the tag team with Otis. He's been doing all right. He's been on TV every week recently. He's doing stuff. But, but he could do I do, better. I do know what you mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Well, who's going to main event WrestleMania? Karrion Cross or Chad Gable at this point? Yeah. Well, more likely Chad yeah. Gable because he actually has a job. Well, but <laughs> I see what you mean. You, yeah. you see what I mean? Yeah. But I don't know. You have to say, there's so many people out there who, who've been there for so long that just don't need to be there anymore. Dolph no Ziggler. To <laughs> See ya. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know. Yeah. No, Finn. There's no... <laughs> look, younger Dolph Ziggler is the AEW champion now. Look. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> then younger, clone Dolph Ziggler is yeah, also younger, there. Younger cowboy Dolph Ziggler. There he is. <laughs> Hangman Adam Page. A great wrestler. Yeah, amazing. Uh, but yeah, also his brother's on. He's like real life brothers in AEW, isn't he? Yeah, um, Ryan Nemeth. Yeah. Nick Diggler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? But, but yeah, they sort of kept... I don't know, Keith Lee. At least. Come on. How do you mess up Keith Lee? Yeah, won the, United, won the North American Championship and the NXT Championship. Got that big old celebration. It was brilliant. Ah. Had a, had a standoff with Roman Reigns. It's teasing things in the future. Had a standoff um, with Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble. Yeah. And they did nothing. Hey. Nothing at all. What are nothing, you at all. <laughs> nothing at nothing all. At all. <laughs> nothing at all. Nothing at all. Ah. Stupid, sexy Keith Lee. <laughs> <laughs> it's sexy, man. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, it sucks. Uh, I tell you what else sucks. WWE releasing people as couples. That fucking blows. Yeah. Keith yeah. Lee and Mia Yim and carrying across the Scarlet Bordeaux. How do you release a superstar that looks like Scarlet Bordeaux? I know, right? <laughs> It's not like she can't wrestle either. She's you know she wrestled in the Indies for years. It's just, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> but look, uh, she's gonna go somewhere and be just a, a, a just a fucking smoke show again. Yeah. And I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing, especially now with the added exposure. People are gonna be you know falling out themselves to, to get a what their show. Yeah, but you know there's so many problems in WWE, and I feel like we're. You know, the whole time we've been doing this podcast, like not today, I mean forever, like as long as we've been doing this podcast, we've almost been saying the same thing. You think WWE's getting like somewhere it. and finally starting to improve and then back down to earth again. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Hopefully as AEW increases, WWE will would be like oh okay we actually need to do something now because they're gonna well, i think it's getting to that point now yeah you know i feel like aw i mean it's drawn me away from wwe yeah same 
the only weekly wrestling I watch is AEW properly. Like the rest, I just catch on highlights and don't even watch them properly. <laughs> yeah. That's so, um, we'll just keep we'll keep, just keep saying the same thing for the next seven years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of people wanting to get exposure and going back to the Charlotte and Becky thing, Ric Flair. Old he man, said this, Rick. He said this today. So disappointed. Did this out of respect for you at Becky Lynch WWE. Uh, it made you millions and made me nothing. After 40 years of being the man, the company doesn't own it and neither do you. I'll always be the man. Ask your husband. What? 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 Ask your husband what? Yeah, hey, what's... is Ric Flair the man? And Seth Rollins is just going to turn around and go, huh? what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a. Uh, he, he's lost it. Um, I don't understand. I mean, he's got a podcast to promote now. He's got a new podcast out. <laughs> Incoherent ramblings of a stupid old man. Yeah, <laughs> is what the right. podcast should be called. It is. <laughs> yeah. It's like Ric Flair uncensored or some shit. Who cares, right? <laughs> so. Yeah, he's trying to get some publicity for his podcast. Speaking of... Ah. Speaking of legacies, at WWE has decided to erase mine. That's all good, however. These two belts are my legacy, and I'd like them returned. I've asked twice, apparently falling on deaf ears. I'm assuming that next week on At Flair Uncensored, wink, um, I'll have to explain in detail. Woo! Woo. Um, so yeah, right there we have the NWA Championship and the the, the Winged Eagle WWF Championship. Now, to oh. me, the, the Winged Eagle WWF Championship isn't synonymous with Ric Flair. No, I was going to say, that's, a, that's not, the last person I thought of when I think of that yeah, championship. He's not the first person that you think of when you see that championship at all. No, at the Barack is the first one that to my mind. Or that championship in particular, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels... Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Yeah. Austin. You know? Not Ric Flair, um, who I don't even believe had that championship for long. Um, I could probably tell you, but I just can't be asked looking it up. Um, so he's got a podcast to promote. Yeah. This is basically Ric Flair right now. <laughs> oh, in <laughs> gift form as well. Yeah. Wait, we can have <laughs> gifts on here? Apparently so, yeah. Oh, Unless shit. That's day. awesome. <laughs> Guess yeah, what next week's show is going to be full of? You guessed it. Gifts. Gifts. Oh, yeah. Oops. And broken Fun microphones. Times. I did. Oops. Yep. So, yeah, Rick Flair's got a podcast to promote. If you didn't know, just go check his Twitter. He's rambling <laughs> about stuff that really doesn't matter. Yeah. Cheers, Rick. Just, just another day in Rick Flair's life. Just another day rambling. in Rick Flair's life. Whether he's... Rambling nonsense. Yeah, look, I mean... You know, his legacy, as it stands at the minute, is harassing people on aeroplanes. <laughs> yeah. Or muff diving on trains. <laughs> Whichever you prefer. You know? Yeah. It's one of them. <laughs> pick. No Take thanks. your pick. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm i not a huge Ric Flair fan anyway. I never have been, and I'm still not now. I'm even less of one now. Yeah. Um, and this all, all this stuff... It just comes across as incredibly desperate. Yeah, you just, you know, you sort of hang on to the spotlight. You know, I'm sure if he could, or if people let him, he'd still wrestle. Well, he came out and said that he really thinks he's got one more match on him. He's in better condition now, his words, than his final WCW match. Okay, Rick. I don't believe you, Rick. <laughs> if we say so, Rick. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe you. Yeah. People um, don't want to see you wrestle, but you just get hurt. <laughs> yeah. Look, blading and bleeding like a, you know, like a, a wounded pig isn't being in better shape than you were <laughs> against Sting in your final WCW match. Yeah. Nope. Not so much. <laughs> no. Plus, you've had heart problems since then. Very true. I don't think he's in better shape. No. I, I, the chances are slim at best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just a weird dude. He's a weird dude. I mean, he's getting weirder. I mean, do you think Charlotte's embarrassed? I mean, I d- it's got to be, surely. Because I oh, shut up, Dad. Jeez. Yeah, oh, Dad, for fuck's sake. You didn't even hold that belt for long. 
Uh, yeah, yeah that, that, shot. Look, he, look, the thing is that if it, if if the picture wasn't the winged eagle championship and was the WCW championship, okay, I can get on board yeah. with that because there's loads of clips of him with that belt. Yeah, that and the NWA no, title. Okay, that's cool. Be yeah, not that winged eagle though. No, not that. Yeah, they say it's the last one that came to my mind. I didn't even know you had it it's before my time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, anyway, that's Ric Flair. Um, probably fuming Weird. because um, Dark Side of the Ring fucked up his opportunity to probably go to AEW and do something. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, he's uh, he's going for going for gold that he barely held, hey. like Henry Kelly that time. Had to go, look, going for gold. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and it. there's Henry Henry Kelly, aka Rick Flair. <laughs> and Seth's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you watch Full Gear? I did. It was it good, was wasn't really it? Good. Amazing, yeah. Man, CM Punk, Eddie Kingston. Oh, it was the great, wasn't it? My goddamn, yeah. I love that they just Amazing. beat the crap out of each other. Yeah, <laughs> it's just literally just that, um, but done really well. Really good storytelling. Yeah, really good. As well. Um, the fact that Eddie Kingston getting cheered over CM Punk says a lot. Yeah. Um, I yeah, think Eddie Tony Khan was sort of right in what he said, where it had sort of like, um, obviously not to the same level, but like a Rock Hogan kind of vibe, where yeah. you know The Rock went into that match as the babyface, and they were booing The Rock and cheering for Hogan. Yeah, exactly. Where, I mean, Kingston, I'm not sure what they're doing. I think maybe, I don't know if they're turning him heel or, or not. I'm not sure. Because obviously he's refused the handshakes um, the last two matches, once with Brian Danielson, the next with CM Punk. So I'm not mm. sure what's going on with that. I haven't watched Dynamite this week. It might explain it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, thought, I thought Darby Allen and MJF had a great match. Oh yeah. So good. Loved, loved that match. Re- you yeah. know what? Great wrestling as well, from a technical standpoint, from both of yeah. those dudes. Yeah, really good. So that was uh, that was a really great match. Um, I, yep, like you, I loved Punk versus Eddie Kingston. Um, you know, there was a couple of duds in the middle. I didn't really enjoy uh, Cody and Pac against Malachi Black and Andrade. I thought it was, I just thought it was flat. The crowd, yeah, were more interested in booming Cody than they were interested in the match. Yeah, I thought the same thing. It's just a random team. It felt like it would be something that'd be on like a rampage rather than on like a pay per view. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, could, yeah. I, I get it. I mean, I understand that there were storylines that they probably wanted to tie up in order to sort of branch out and do new ones. Yeah. But I don't know. The, the, the whole thing just fell a little bit flat for me. Yeah. I'm pleased that Cody's getting booed. Yeah, me too. I mean, <laughs> if he wonders why he's getting booed, look at your entrance, mate. <laughs> yeah. Just say, buddy yourself. Come on. No you one. Come up from the floor. You're not that impressive. And you have fireworks <laughs> like it's Independence Day. Yeah. Like, you're not that good of, or that popular of a re- wrestler. You're good, but you're not as good as you think you are. No. <laughs> and you just come across like a cocky prick who no one likes. Yeah, and that's, that's that's why he's getting booed. Yeah, maybe it's all the potential. You know, maybe you can turn around like, this is all the slow heel turn. I'm supposed to be He could be a great heel. He'd be a great heel. He'd be amazing, yeah. I maybe always thought he is... was a good heel in WWE. Yeah. Yeah, I loved about, you know, when he had the mask and stuff. Yeah, like, when he, ha- yeah, when he had the, unveiled the, uh, the white IC tile. Oh yeah, yeah. That was a good run. That was a great run. Yeah. But yeah, this I, just, I, I don't get it. If it's all intentional and fair play to him, it's worked. But if not, then just get over yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but th- you know that was that fell flat. I enjoyed the women's title match. I thought that was good. Uh, yeah, with Ty Conti good. and Britt Baker. Ty Conti's great superstar. Yeah, Real superstar. Um, didn't, didn't get much of a chance at NXT, which is a shame. Um, now showing you know that. Letting her go was a mistake because you know because she can be a huge star. Yeah, for sure. Be in the future. Yeah, for sure. She's she uh, she's great, and I would love to see her with the title one day for sure. Yeah, same here. Um, I thought FTR against the Lucha Brothers was okay. Yeah, I think apparently um, uh, I bit was one Dax, Dax bald yeah. one. Yeah, got uh, her early on. Can you up with a minor concussion? Right. Okay. Well, that makes um, sense. So yeah, so Dax ended up doing. Uh, most of the work and apparently the ending was not how it was supposed to go because of that because the illegal man got pinned and they're supposed to be apparently they're supposed to be more of a big deal around that but because you know Dax was hurt they couldn't do what they originally intended yeah so it's, it's a bit of a, um, a ending 
unfortunately it didn't work and if obviously if it's that's 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 down to injuries it's very difficult to sort of uh change something that big on the fly yeah yeah and th- sometimes these things just cannot be i mean you can't account for stuff like that to happen yeah um you know all in all i thought it was a, i thought it was a good pay-per-view again um the, event was obviously amazing yeah the main event was excellent um i loved it thought it was really good great moment for hangman page to win the title now i want to ask you a question um as it pertains to hangman do you see him as the guy to now carry aw forward for the next few months um, I think you said it can be. You know, it's definitely over as hell with the crowd. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think so. I think he can do it. I think yeah, he has that, you know, charisma going on. And yeah. he's, 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 you know, as over as anyone else, or the most over as, you know, on the roster, I think. Except maybe yeah. like a team punk, whatever. Um, so yeah, I think he can. I think people, I think the crowd, the people want him to be, you know, the guy. So I think he'll do well. Yeah, uh, I do as well. I mean, the interesting thing is, obviously, the next opponent he's going to have is Brian Danielson. Yeah. Who won the Eliminator tournament. Obviously, he beat Miro at full gear, another good match. Not as good as it probably could have been, but it was good. Yeah, very good. Um, I mean, and all signs really point to Danielson being the champion at some point. Mm. Yeah, apparently, I don't want to spoil it, but something went down with uh, Brian uh, on this episode of Dynamite. Which would be interesting. Which would, which would definitely make the match more more interesting and the title match when that happens. Mm. Um, but yeah, I could see it going either way. But yeah, you're right. I think Danielson probably has more of a chance to take it off him. I don't know. Yeah, it's it a difficult one. I don't want oh, I don't want Page yeah. to be a transitional champion. No, so I know I that Kenny's deserves. I know that Kenny's hurt, so he's taking some time away. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Mm. Um, thoughts on Jay Lethal? Um, I've never, I haven't really seen any of his work. You know, I've heard good things about him. But, yeah, I don't really have <laughs> much. Uh, the only thing I know about him is that promo he did with Ric Flair, where he was doing the impression of Yeah, fair Flair. enough. I think, and I think a lot of... <laughs> um, and this is not me calling you a casual fan, but I think a lot of casual fans sort of would know Jay Lethal from that. But, you know, you wouldn't necessarily yeah. know Jay Lethal if you um, haven't watched TNA or Ring of Honor. He's not been on the, yeah. the big stage in WWE or... Uh, you know, now obviously he's in AEW, but good acquisition. I've always liked Jay Lethal's 20 year veteran. Uh, apparently yeah, had a really exactly. good match with Sammy Guevara on um, Dynamite this week, which I'll watch shortly. Awesome. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I kind of missed out on that early TNA, um, you know, when that was going on mm-hmm. during the story days. Um, so I missed out on, you know, the big stuff. I never really watched Ring of Honor. Um, so yeah, I missed out on Jay Lethal, unfortunately, but hopefully I get to see, you know, what I can do on AEW. I look forward to it. Yeah, definitely. And, and uh, yeah, he's, he's such a super talented dude, you know, and yeah. I look forward to seeing him working. Because, uh, you know, I've, I've seen Jay Lethal matches, of course, over the, my time, but um looking forward to seeing him work properly, um, if that makes sense, um, in yeah, AEW. Yeah. On the big stage. Absolutely, yeah. But, yeah, you know, overall, AEW is still killing it. It's still so much, so much fun to watch. And like NXT used to be, this is wrestling for us. Yeah, absolutely. For yeah. the smog marks like us. Yeah, and we'll <laughs> keep enjoying it. And I'm yeah, sure WWE will suck us back in at some point. It always does, but at the minute... <laughs> it always finds a way. Yeah, it always finds a way. But at the minute, it's just very <laughs> difficult to sort of get behind and, uh, and, and stuff, as we previously mentioned. But, you know what, AEW is killing it. Impact still looks great. MLW is doing so much cool stuff at the minute. Um, so there's a lot of great wrestling if you don't want to watch WWE. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, Good stuff. We're going to be live again on Sunday night for the pre-show before the pre-show for Survivor Series. Uh, we'll nice. have a look at the card. Um, I'll try and catch up with um, WWE on social media and stuff like that over the next few days just so I've got a better idea as to what's going on at Survivor Series so that I can actually talk about it instead of just talking shit on the show <laughs> um, so yeah we'll do that and I'll be live at 8 o'clock um, I think with Steve I'm not 100% sure at the minute but either way this channel will be live uh, for the pre-show before the pre-show on Sunday at 8 o'clock cool I'll be at work. Yeah. And um, I'll probably hanging out with couch. Yeah. At work. You'll be hanging out with couch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think that's pretty much it. Have you got anything else you want to say? 
Um, I think that's it. Cool. And this has been episode 157 of the Games and Grounds podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts across all podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And youtube.com forward slash games wraps. Go follow us on all social media. That is at games and graps on Facebook, yes. Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, go follow Finn, which is at the Finn Steel on Twitter. And you can go follow me on uh, Facebook and Twitter, which is uh, at Sunny Garner on Twitter and at Sunny Club on Instagram and Facebook. Can't remember anything. Really. That's good. <laughs> Matter of practice. This is, this yeah. is Sunny Garner, you'll find it. Yeah, you know, just type in Sunny or Games and Grabs, and I'm there. I'll be there. Yeah. It's fine. We're all good. <laughs> it's all good. Right. Um, yeah, we'll be back next week with episode 158. See you Sunday for the live show. My name is Sunny G and I've been with Finn Steele. Goodbye. And Steve will be back next week. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye.